Packers and the 49ers. Right. Where it's like, how can we make this faster? Yeah, what can we do? We want to cut off the Republican Guard here. Let's just let's just blast them away with some artillery. Mm. And then somebody would bring in a draft of the new game plan. Not fast enough. Gotcha. Speed. The essence is speed. That mm. was what uh, Rumsfeld, I believe, was all about. Just how quickly can we take the fucking capital? I don't care what happens to the country after that. Wow. Isn't that kind of fucked up, though? Yes. Of course. What do you mean? It's extremely fucked up. Fan Jerry, tell us your craziest and best war story. Well, I never went to war. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, Fan Jerry, um, well, something. Well, why don't well, you tell us something? I, I, I can help you out here. I can yeah. tell the macaroni unless, grill story. Unless we, yeah, exactly. <laughs> like that's what I was going to talk about. When when I first met Fan Jerry back in the spring of 2018, the first thing we talked about is how they would dehumanize the enemy, mm. the Middle Easterners. Okay. How they would be trained. You you tell. Yeah. So. Like a proper response in the Marine Corps, especially in boot camp, instead of saying like, yes, sir, no, sir, it's just the word kill. Because if you can make the word kill normalize, all of a sudden killing doesn't seem as bad. Jesus. And we would also use very uh, not politically correct racial slurs and stuff uh, around their religion and their people. Haji was the word, right? Hajis, yeah. towel heads. I've heard that. They tell you, the like upper brass tells you to call the enemy fucking Hajis. Okay. Whoa. Can I, uh, uh, can I pimp you out, Danny? Is that okay? Yeah. All right. Well, could you be the sergeant yelling something at Fangiri, and Fangiri, you will, you will respond with kill? Is that what happens? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't know how he's going to simulate that. Well, no, I, I'm going to be channeling my <laughs> Lee Emery. Yes. Was dude. that the name of the guy? Yeah. It's not the, yeah. It, it, go big. Okay. All right. Let's see it. Ah! <laughs> Private fan Jerry, <laughs> you piece of human slime. <laughs> Show me your biceps. You got to say kill. <laughs> you had one job. <laughs> what the fuck is that? You have been neglecting your curls in the gym, scumbag. <laughs> kill, sir. What are you going to do when you get over to Ramadi and you see one of those hajis? Kill, sir. Correct. What are you going to do when your ex-wife runs off to Ohio with your child? Kill, sir. That's what I thought, <laughs> dirtball. <laughs> That's how it went. That's what I was looking for, dude. No problem. Ah, thank you. Thank you, Lee Emery. Yes. He was a good guy. I think he died in Santa Monica. Mm -hmm. The full metal jacket drill sergeant. But uh, the, the uh, going to the Marines, though, man, it's helped a lot of my really... Uh, at Grant High School, you meet some real, like, low-life kind of people, right? It was a very ghetto school in the Valley. A lot of the guys that really had no chance of success ever, the guy that went to the Army or the Marines, they mm -hmm. came back, and now they have some semblance of success, you know? Yeah. I think so it's, I, it's great. It's absolutely great. That's why you're so pro college. Mm -hmm. I think fuck that. I think Dino and Austin need to go to the military. Oh, dude, they'd come <laughs> back fucking legends, dude. Both of them shredded huge. Dino would be fucking drug free. <laughs> what are you talking about? Oh, my they'd be God. dragging him through a field in Texas trying to get him combat fit. <laughs> and Austin would be like, oh, I've got a stomach ache. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't smoked weed in <laughs> three, three <hours>. months. <laughs> you think he'd still be smoking over there? Yeah. Dude, Austin couldn't crack it. There'd be not enough weed, not enough... Well, I mean, he doesn't eat, period, so uh -huh. I think the he food doesn't. wouldn't be an issue. But there wouldn't be enough anime. Mm -hmm. That's really the big deal. Yeah. Oh, you'd be surprised. Dino, I, I think could get in? stationed oh, in Okinawa, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like a couple <laughs> yeah. of my friends. There's a lot of anime in the, in the Marines? Yeah, what's that one, uh, uh, My Little Pony? Bronies, is that what they're called? I don't know what that is, and because dudes, I'm a man. Grown men, <laughs> grown men that are really into My Little Pony. There was two of them in my schoolhouse. Uh -huh. Their whole room was decorated with little My Little Pony figurines. Well, everywhere. if you get desperate, you know which guy in your bunk to try to fuck. It's true. Dude, what is there going any? on in the military, bro? Yeah, that should not even be allowed. <laughs> <laughs> Did, uh, I, I mean, I, I read that in my personal life, but it shouldn't be allowed in the military. <laughs> <that's Austin. laughs> I don't understand, bro. Like, Russia and China, they ain't doing none of this shit. Russia, I don't even think they have like women, bro. Do, do they? I mean, how is Russia doing? Soldiers? And how's Russia doing in this current war, though? Like, uh, are, are they, I mean, they're still probably going to win, but I think they're losing more farmers. people. They're, yeah. they're starting to win. I just listened to uh, some content yeah. on this. Mm -hmm. I guess what's going to happen is pretty soon because Russia, and I'm going to have Jerry fan, fact check me on all this because Jerry knows more military shit than me. I think Russia is we're sanctioning them, but they're also just not giving anybody else in Europe oil now. So, like, I, I don't know if it's Europe can't accept their oil or Vladimir Putin's like, eh, fuck you. Mm. But Europe's not getting their oil that they need from Russia because Russia produces all that shit. And when the winter comes, their people are going to start freezing. So all the sanctions are basically going to be lifted on Russia. Wow. It's like, all right, dude, you can keep killing these Ukrainian people. Uh, this dude in our, 
the people in the countryside are starting to get the chills, all right? Yeah. You can go in and kill your own people. That's why you got to drill your own oil. But they're too busy trying to change the weather, like fucking warlocks. Who's that? Mm. Europe. They're trying to change the weather? Yeah, with all their green policy and stuff. I mean, this is a problem that was already existing. And then the the thing with Russia just accelerated it. I, like, I was watching this thing. Uh, people are paying. Like, someone posted that in the U.K., they have, like, this family cafe that they're going to have to close down now because last year it was $11,000 a year for electricity, and this year they're paying $65,000 for electricity. Oh, and that the energy increase. prices are just insane. And they're going to start uh, turning off people's heat and, mm-hmm. and all this kind of shit and controlling the grid mm-hmm. with your electricity or whatever. Same things were probably going to happen in L.A. with these rolling blackouts. Mm-hmm. They, they literally just turn your power off. Mm-hmm. It's pretty shy, Steve. Yeah. And, and what happens is we say that we can't produce any of these things here. Like, we can't drill for oil. We can't have a pipeline up in Alaska. Mm-hmm. But then we just turn to some dictator elsewhere in the world and be like, hey, dude, give us some oil. What I was just saying is, like, the hypocrisy of we we won't have child labor here, but we just outsource all of our iPad construction to children in China. I'm pro-child <laughs> labor, though. It's actually, some people say that if there wasn't child labor in these other developing countries, those kids would literally be child prostitutes. So while it's not great, it's actually enriching that area, and it will lead eventually to hopefully not child labor once their economy develops. And think about it. At 20, you already have 10 years of working experience. Right. It looks great in a resume. <laughs> Sure does. That's what I mean. We need to bring child labor to America. Like, Sanjay, would you ever think about maybe putting, you know, your 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 son into some uh, in the sweatshop somewhere? No, in China. <laughs> what about him? Did you think about his resume? Yeah, come on. No, it's a his, she. His resume will be fun. Wait. Oh, I forgot. We her resume. We, we did transition. Chance for fan, I just called him Trans Jerry. <laughs> <laughs> Is that the title? 